brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you. I'd like to testify that in prophecy, the Lord told me that he would be saving my life because the enemy was angry at me because I was seeking the Lord with all my heart and devoting myself to him. I come to the church with my family, my wife and children. And 15 days ago, I had an accident. I fell from the third floor and when I fell, all I can remember saying was, Lord, save my life because you promised me you would. And in the hospital where I was attended to, I was told that it was a miracle because the fall was so hard. They couldn't understand how I didn't hit my head. All I did was fractured a few ribs. And I'm so thankful with the Lord because I'm here in his church. And I testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. Good evening, brothers and sisters. I would like to testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. The Lord had announced to me that he was going to allow for a yearning of my heart to be fulfilled. Something I really wanted for a long time. I wanted to get eye surgery. And this is how the Lord said when I least expected it, it happened. It came that blessing from the hand of God. And as well, regarding today's teaching, about a year and a half ago, the Lord allowed for me to be involved in a motorcycle accident, but it was beautiful to see God's hand for he thought of every single detail. And this is why I testified today, because he was mindful of everything. I was in that motorcycle with my little sister. And if I cry, it's because I feel joyful for I fell more and more deeply in love with the Lord. We were about to turn and a car hit us on the right side. My little sister went flying and the Lord protected her. She had no fractures, no issues, nothing. But me, I fell in the vehicle's windshield. And even though they were speeding and they didn't stop, that car ran over me and dragged me for over a hundred feet. And I was under the car. The weight of the car was on top of me. But the Lord a while ago had announced to me in prophecy a very difficult time for my health was coming. But because of his love, I was not going to be feeling any of it. And this is how I say that it is beautiful because he allowed every single thing to happen for his glory because there was eight or nine fractures. But just as the Lord said for his love, I didn't feel any of it. I had a fracture in one of my ribs. And people would tell me, oh, you're going to be in such pain. You won't be able to laugh and talk. And the Lord gives us so much joy because my family would come visit me in the hospital and they would see me smiling. They would leave feeling relieved. I was able to testify in my house to my family because I was always smiling for I never experienced any pain. There was only one moment in which I had pain one night and that specific rib and I said, Lord, please have mercy. I would love to continue to testify that you have not allowed for me to experience any pain. May this be for your honor and glory. How beautiful to be able to testify this. And this is how the Lord removed that pain again. Every single thing was allowed for a good reason. And from out of all the surgeries that I was told that I was going to have to go through, the Lord told me that soon I was going to be receiving very good news from the doctors. For they told me I was going to have to go through a lot of surgeries. And the next day, the doctors came and said, well, we have very good news for you. And it is that out of all the surgeries, we're only going to have to do one, which is on your clavicle bone. And the Lord manifested himself again. He allowed me to have a speedy recovery. And it was so beautiful. And every single detail he allowed and that joy and that peace the Lord has allowed throughout the whole process has been of great blessing. May the honor and glory be for God. Mm-hmm. 